I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Better Display app for Mac. This app is completely free to download, but there is a pro version. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm using it and what issues it has solved for me. I am rolling on Mac M1 still, and I just bought this monitor and I couldn't get it to work with 120 hertz, which really hurt me. It hurt my soul. Of course, as you probably know, we have this uh, displays settings here, and then we have the built-in display and the Dell display, but I couldn't really get it to work. So that's exactly where the Better Display app came to the rescue. Now I'm going to tell you exactly how it works and some of the best settings that you can use with this app. As I have mentioned, you can just install it for free. And the best thing is that already here, you can see a lot of settings and change the brightness and the resolutions of both of your displays, which is fantastic because quite often in my built-in display, I just keep it completely dim. But then in just one second, I can make it completely bright. The other thing is that I'm using a different setting for brightness right now. As you can see, it's much more granular because normally without this app, it would jump by something like 10%, which completely sucks. But with better display, as you can see, it's very nice and smooth. And I can do it both for the, the larger monitor as well as the Mac monitor. So this is the primary setup. And then you have many other options. Of course, you have the resolution for both of them. So, which is also extremely convenient, but then you have a whole host of other options for each display. Let's say that I just want to just leave my native display, the Mac display, uh, just in peace. Let's just, just leave it in peace. But now let's just take a look at the uh, Dell display. As you can see, I can really quickly switch to just 1080p, even though my monitor is 4K, but this is really great for recording YouTube videos because everything is larger on the screen. So I can just switch between these resolutions extremely fast. And then you have display modes. As you can see, you can create favorites here. So you can, for example, uh, change these resolutions with the use of your keyboard shortcuts. However, uh, I'm not even on the pro version. So I just uh, basically go in here and just use this slider uh, to set up. I already know which resolutions I'm using. For example, 100% is 1080p. Then I'm usually rolling on 150% which is really great for productivity. And then if we go all the way here, then it's um, the native resolution, which is 4K. But for now, let's just leave it here. And then you can also change the refresh rate. As I have mentioned, uh, without this app, I couldn't get uh, 120 Hertz to work, but now it's working without any issues, which is completely crazy. Uh, that uh, a MacBook M1 Pro would handle 120 Hertz on such uh, a great monitor. Then you can change uh, color modes. You can change, uh, you can mirror your display. Uh, you can, uh, you have some streaming options here. I'm not even touching it. As you can see, most of these options are for the pro users, but the app is not even that expensive. I think it's something like $25 for a lifetime license. Uh, and then what do we have here? Uh, you can set up picture in picture. Mm, then you have, you can move the display. You have screen rotation. So you can even rotate your screen, uh, image adjustments, hardware and integration control, input source, configuration protection, color profile, you can manage the display. And then 
the great thing is that you can really use this high resolution, high DPI uh, setting, which vastly also improves the quality of the image. And you can set it as a main display or as, as a secondary display. So there are countless options here that you can play around with. And I'm not even touching them most of the time. I'm mostly interested in just quickly changing the brightness settings, quickly changing the resolution, avoiding the resolution issues uh, that come out of just using the standard display on the Mac. Uh, and especially, uh, I'm interested in getting a higher refresh rate on my monitor. And I'm interested in getting this very smooth brightness um, changes. Um, so these are the primary options, but we have some advanced options here. And there is a lot of stuff uh, here that you can change. As you can see, I'm not even on the Pro version. Uh, you have keyboard um, settings. So that's where uh, I have changed this uh, thing. So I have this smooth control over my brightness. As you can see, there is a whole lot of options here. Then you have options regarding the menu itself. So you can uh, just select what you want to see. Uh, you have the slider labels, the expanding menu items, uh, automatically tidying up the menu, uh, and so on and so forth. Then the settings about the application itself, which is pretty crazy checking for updates and integration and so on and so forth. Then you can uh, have uh, display groups. And then finally, you have these display uh, options and even advanced upscaling options. Some of these uh, uh, features are only available in the Pro version. And let's say that we want to change settings for Dell. And you can see that we have just a humongous amount of options. I actually, when I was setting this up, I spent something like one hour just to play around with these options until I got it perfect. Um, the thing is that you don't really have to do it most of the time. Basically, just installing this app will solve a lot of your problems. But especially for smooth changing of the brightness, that's in the keyboard menu. It's somewhere out here. And then for the displays, you can also play around with these different options um, as you see fit. And finally, uh, you can just roll this up all the way up. And then when you have a perfect setup, uh, you just leave these things and then you can really quickly change the brightness and the resolution and all of the other options are, are already um, taken care of. Um, so that's it. That was just a quick video with an update about the better display app for the Mac. If you are interested in learning about my whole setup here, I suggest you watch this video over here and I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I'm using in my studio to create these videos. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next one.